Hi there, Jamie from Time and Space here, and today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the full range of Synthgy's Ivory 2 pianos. So the range consists of four different products, Grand Pianos, Italian Grand, Upright Pianos, and American Concert D. Uh, so the way I'm going to do this is take you through the interface and features first, because um, it's the same for all the pianos. And then in the second half of the video, I will play some demos on a number of different presets, so you can hear Ivory 2 in full. Okay, so I've loaded in the American Concert D as my preset, and I use that to show you all the features. Um, so let's start off with the session page. Um, in here, you can find a load of performance parameters, which are going to prepare your piano up before you play. Um, so starting off here, we've got memory use and polyphony. Um, you can have up to a thousand voices, and as you can see, the list is so big it goes off the screen. Um, then we've got the option for half pedaling if you wanted that on or off. Um, with regards to tuning, you can change the octave, um, plus or minus four octaves, um, or you can change the semitones, fine pitch, um, the pitch standard, uh, and the silent key velocity, which is the maximum velocity played um, in order for the key to be silent. Um, in addition to this, we have stretch and equal tuning and the tuning table. Over here on the right are all the velocity functions. Um, so here we have the velocity map graph, which relates the velocity that the key is played at um, to the dynamic that it plays back at. Um, and there are some parameters that you can change, uh, such as the arc type, hardness, and velocity minimum and maximum. Um, or if you wanted to choose a preset, there are 10 included here. Uh, so that is the session page, um, which is just a fraction of what you can do with Ivory 2. Um, it's worth noting that anything that you do on this page uh, can be saved as a preset. Um, if you wanted to come back to anything um, just up here. Uh, let's move on to the program page. The first thing I'd like to draw your attention to on this page are the presets up here. Um, now I have got all four of the Ivory 2 pianos in here at the moment, uh, but nonetheless there are still a huge selection of presets um, for every individual product. Uh, over here on the left we've got options to change the soundboard, um, sustain resonance, sympathetic resonance, or pedal noise, you can turn on those on and off. Uh, and then we've got release. And then we've also got key noise, um, timbre, which does the tone a bit, um, dynamic range, trim adds a bit of saturation, and stereo width. Um, then underneath that, we've got five different options for lid position, um, but I'm going to keep it on full stick. Uh, I think that's how it sounds best. Um, timbre shift adds some interesting textures um, and completely changes the sound. I'll quickly show you. And then we have stereo perspective, um, and that changes the panning of the piano um, between the perspective of either the performer or the audience. Um, right at the bottom here, you can change the key set. Uh, now, what makes all these pianos so incredible, and um, why they sound so realistic, is because of the recorded dynamic level. Um, so, for example, the American Concert D, as you can see, has up to 20 different velocity dynamic levels, um, which just makes it so nice to play, and that's why it sounds so realistic. Um, also included here are release samples and soft pedal samples, uh, which can be turned on and off. Um, finally, on this page, as a nice little addition, you can add a synth layer, um, which is nothing too intrusive, uh, just there if you want it. Um, and you can change the decay, release, gain, and transposition. Um, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So there you go. Um, now let's move on to the effects page. So the basic layout of the effects page um, is we've got EQ along the top, a uh, nice chorus effect on the left here, and ambience on the right. Um, but obviously, as you can see, it's a lot more than just turning these effects on or off. Uh, there are extensive controls on offer. Um, so the EQ is a three-band EQ, a parametric mid-range, uh, as well as low and high shell frequencies. Um, the chorus effect has a nice set of controls, uh, wet to dry ratio, depth, rate, delay, feedback, and damping. And then with the reverb, you can choose the room type, um, as well as the size, wet to dry ratio, pre-delay, and damping. Um, also in the effects page is a huge selection of um, presets on offer. So what I'm gonna do now is just take you through a few of them uh, to give you an idea of what they sound like.
and that is effect page. Um, the final page is preferences, and in here you can find a few more options on MIDI behavior. Uh, so that is all the features for you. Um, so what I'm going to do now is stop talking for a while and play you through some of the presets from all four of the Ivory 2 pianos, and then at the end I'll just do a little summary. And there you have it. And I think it's quite clear to see that Synthogy's Ivory 2 range is one of the best and most realistic sounding collection of virtual pianos ever created. Um, if you'd like to find out more about the individual products and what's included in them, or for any other information, just visit our website at www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.